Good evening, it's Monday, August 27th, and welcome to this SCW News Digest. A shooting in Stockton that took the life of one also injured two. Officers with the Stockton Police Department first responded to St. Joseph's Hospital where gunshot wound victims had walked in around 2.40 Saturday morning. They then learned that the shooting took place while the victims were driving near El Dorado Street in Hammer Lane. One victim, 27-year-old Jerry Coyuto, died from his injuries. His identity was confirmed today by the coroner's office. And a 35-year-old suffered critical injuries. The third victim, a 25-year-old man, was able to recover from his minor injuries. An investigation into the shooting homicide has begun. Anyone with information on the incident is asked to call the Stockton Police Department. Well, a Stockton man is now in custody after he allegedly tried to steal a fire truck. Firefighters responded to calls of someone pushing a garbage can that was on fire up on the driveway of the, on the 300th block of Jill Circle. When first responders arrived, they, the suspect fled, entering a fire truck. Firefighters were able to get the suspect out and they restrained him as he tried to put the truck into gear. He did strike two firefighters, but they were uninjured. We'll have more after this. Hi, this is Wayne Richardson coming to you from Stockton and where we serve the homeless of San Joaquin County, Hospital Center Western Mission. If you know somebody that's homeless and needs help, please refer them to us. Also, we covet your prayers and financial support. If you want to volunteer, please contact us. God bless you and have a great day. Joshua Mercuris appeared in court on Friday in a wheelchair. It was just about under a half a year ago today that a fire engulfed the home that he was in on Pebble Beach Drive in Stockton. A reportedly illegal butane honey oil lab had exploded. The blast sent people on fire and sent two to the hospital, including the one who appeared in court. A dog did die in the blaze. Mercuris and one other suspect have been charged with felony counts. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you again here tomorrow.